Hello and welcome to STEM Club. In today's STEM Club, we're going to be trying to make some exploding art using the vinegar and bicarb reaction. All you'll need for this is some vinegar and some bicarb and some paint and a big piece of paper. I've also done up my lab coat because I don't really want to get covered in paint. Now, the first thing we're going to try is I've seen this done before where people use a plastic bag because what you've got in the vinegar and bicarb reaction is you've got them reacting together, producing a gas of carbon dioxide. And if there isn't enough space for that gas, it's gonna build up a lot of pressure and then it might explode. So you're going to get a big bang when all that gas is released all at once. So we're gonna use this bag to see if the gas is gonna explode out there. So the first thing we want to do is add our vinegar and our paint into the bag. And I'm gonna use clear vinegar for this so it doesn't affect the color of my paint. So it's be quite runny. And I'm just gonna give those a good mix together. Not sure how well this is gonna work because my paint appears to have uh, reacted with the vinegar and like <laughs> gone really weird. Right, then the next step in this reaction is putting some bicarbonate of soda in a piece of tissue. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then I'm gonna put that in my paint vinegar mixture. Right, then I've added that in, so I'm gonna give that a good seal, maybe give it a bit of a mix, and I'm gonna put it like that so if it breaks out the seal, it can all go that way. You can see all the air is trapped inside. Now the problem is if we haven't got quite enough air then it's not going to make enough force to split open the bag and that's why this hasn't worked here. So we might need to think of another way we can make this reaction happen better to get a big exploding picture. Our plastic bag didn't work at all. I couldn't get it to explode and the paint just went all congealed and very yucky. So that is not good for an explosive picture. So we have learned that. However, I did go on the internet and I found some powdered vinegar, which smells exactly the same as normal vinegar. And I'm hoping that that doesn't make our paint go funny. So to do a quick test, I've got a jar here. So if I add some vinegar and some bicarbonate of soda, and if I give those a mix together, now nothing is happening, they are not fizzing at all. That's because they are both solids. So if they're solids, the molecules can't move around and they can't mix together. However, if we add some water, that will allow the molecules to move around so then they might react and we might see some bubbles. Oh yeah, hope you can see that. So we've got lots of fizzing going on here now. So we know that these two react together exactly the same way as liquid vinegar as solid vinegar so that is an exciting start so the next thing to test is if we mix these two together and add some paint which is water based so has it got enough water in it to allow some fizzing to happen vinegar and bicarb we add our paint okay so our paint is just starting to fizz away there so there is some fizzing it's quite a slow reaction but it's definitely working now here's another really cool thing that you can do actually if you add paint to this reaction is we know that carbon dioxide gas is given off because we can see it bubble but are there any other products made in the reaction so if we look at the equation for the reaction we'll find out one of the products is water and you can actually see the water has been formed because our paint that i put in that was very thick has now turned very very runny so that must be the water that's been made in the reaction that's actually made our paint more runny while it's been going on so that is a really interesting observation that you can see from this reaction in a previous stem club video we looked at making rockets and i found out these test tubes work really well for rockets so i'm going to try to explode these rather than a plastic bag because my plastic bag wasn't popping at all it needed a really strong force whereas this one just needs a small force to pop the rocket off so what i'm going to do is add a bit of vinegar and bicarb both in powder form then put some paint on top and see if we can get an explosive picture and I'm not going to add too much paint because we know water. I'm going to give it a shake though because I can see it's all getting stuck at the end. And then I'm going to run away. How cool is that? Right, so 
all the vinegar and bicarb got kind of stuck at the bottom, so I came over and gave it a shake, which worked, but it did make, um, but it didn't pop up like I thought it was going to. So maybe I'm going to see if I can do that for the next one. Remember, science is all about experimentation, so you can always try changing things to see if you can do anything better. So this time, what I might do is add a bit of bicarbonate and vinegar first, then my paint, then add a bit more, and then put my lid on and see if that helps at the reaction. Right, then I'm going to give this a good shake and see what happens. Wow, that is so cool and it's made such a different pattern to last time as well. That is amazing, so good. Science is all about testing and seeing what you can learn and in both ones so far I found out I've got loads of vinegar and bicarb stuck at the bottom that hasn't even reacted. So I'm going to try it differently this time. I'm going to put the paint in first, then I'm going to mix my vinegar and bicarb together before I put it in, then I'm going to put them in and then I'm going to put them on and we'll see if that works. Add that, run away. Oh. Quick! Oh, no! <laughs> that is interesting. That has just made a big splodge. So I don't think that one actually has worked as well as our first one. So that was a good experiment to try, but I'm not sure it's that successful. So actually, that reaction happening quicker wasn't as good. So it's almost react better when the reaction is slower because the paint's still really thick. So we haven't got that watery mixture that we've got in the first one. So the paint splatter, I don't think, is as good. So this is a really fun experiment because rather than just getting numbers at the end of the results, we're actually getting a big splatter picture to look at. So I am loving doing this experiment. This is a brilliant experiment for you to try at home too, because you can change lots of things as you do it and see what you can learn with the different pictures you make. We'd love to see what you get up to, so do share in our Twinkle Home Educators Facebook group, and we'll see you again soon for more STEM fun.